on this week's GTA 5 o'clock. Milking cows and demolition derbies, hide and seek GTA style, and buy and sell cars in the community garage. We go through all your suggestions of how to improve GTA Online in this week's GTA 5 o'clock. Hello and welcome to this week's GTA 5 o'clock. I'm your host James Jarvis and I am joined by co-host Ian Wilson, Mr. Trophy. Hello. Hello, Ian. So, last week's episode went down quite well. Yep, excellent. Uh, got some good responses uh, in the comments and on Twitter and Facebook, so thank you all for that. A lot of love for horse hijacking and farming DLC, yeah. which is, I think was something <laughs> that you came up with off the cuff. Yes, <laughs> just yeah, like, yeah. Oh, Let's just have some farming Why DLC. Not? Why not, eh? That's, yeah, something people got very on board with that. Uh, cool. We've got a bit more... Uh, information on what people want <laughs> from the farming DLC a bit later on. Uh, so this week we're going to go through your comments uh, and talk about what you as the community think Rockstar can do to improve GTA and GTA Online as a whole. Uh, so these are from you. These are all your comments. These aren't anything to do with us, but we will read them out and then we will probably dissect them a little yeah. bit and see what we think about each one uh if you haven't if you don't get mentioned then sorry that you don't get mentioned there were loads of comments and stuff uh we've had to pick certain ones and leave certain ones out yeah mainly the negative ones <laughs> left out uh but <laughs> there weren't yeah. many of those comparatively though were comparatively they? no it was good no, it, it was, was a good week good. Uh, so yeah lots of you um saying you just want some single player dlc obviously that's a thing that everyone wants we know we get it we yeah. want it as well. Yeah, definitely. But we're not going to go too much into that because we have, you know, that, that's something that's happening. We just don't know when. Yeah. Uh, so let's leave that. Uh, and also, before we move in, move on, yes, there, there were some uh, secret boobs yeah. in last week's episode. That was, that was probably my bad for <laughs> hanging around the uh, the Playboy Mansion too long. Yeah. Getting but, some footage uh, for that. So. Let's not tell anyone about that. No, so keep that strong. quiet to yourselves. <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah. So there we go. So... Someone said in the comments that they can't wait to try all the new things that we were talking about. Right. It should point out that they were just ideas. It, yes, suggestions, yeah. ideas, not confirmed not upcoming things. No, I mean, we'd love them to be. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, if Rockstar are listening, those are some brilliant ideas. Yeah, should uh, definitely go ahead with that. Pull implement the them. We should have put in uh, quad tennis. Quad tennis, so yeah. That's been a, a long-running thing. pretty much from day one of the show, isn't it? Yeah. So... Um, so here are your suggestions then for how you think you can improve GTA Online. We're going to read them out, then talk about them. We'll go through one each. Uh, mm -hmm. I will start with Android Zombies suggestion, yeah. saying they need to add Las Venturas and San Fierro. Wow. Okay, yeah. that's a big one. Um, for those that aren't, I mean, I'm sure everyone listening is going to be familiar with that. But the, basically, um, Los Santos, Las Venturas, San Fierro were the three areas in the original GTA mm -hmm. San Andreas. Um, so basically they're suggesting two more cities yeah. or areas comparable in size to the GTA 5 existing map. I think that's, that's the thing, isn't it? Because a, yeah. if they add it in, they can't just add it in as a tiny, like, no village. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so even if, you know, they do put it in, it's going to have to be massive. Because mm. if it isn't massive, everyone's going to be sad about it exactly, not being yeah. massive. Yeah. And, and the, the, the version of San Andreas that's in GTA 5 is a massive island as mm. well yeah. with a lot of space around it so where where do you get that I mean I suppose you could add it onto the side somewhere and fly to it there are bits in the single player where you hop in a plane and fly off North Yankton somewhere exactly but it's not a it's not a continuous transition you, you basically walk to a different mm. area entirely so I'm not sure how that would work in a no. the game world and also just the fact that it took however many years to to meticulously craft San Andreas with all its sort of great details and little features and things that uh, we, we come to expect from Rockstar games. Yeah. It's not the sort of thing they can just bash out in a, a week or a month or exactly. however long. And I don't even really think it needs it in GTA no. 5. Uh, if they open a casino, surely that's all the Las Ventura stuff that you want. Yeah. Like it's, <laughs> it's got gambling. Uh, maybe they can add another strip club in if you want to go for like the, you know, the CD. Back, yeah, back alleys of last, you know, yeah. last and I suppose, and all that. Yeah, I suppose the kind of the north of the map's got a bit of the San Fierro feel to it, with the a bit. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, well, the the thing that's really missing is Area Sixty Nine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, where's that? Because that's where yeah. the jetpack is. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> we put that in. Everyone's happy. <laughs> there's loads of desert. Maybe it'll turn up in there somewhere. 
possibly. <laughs> All right. Cool. Right. So the next suggestion is from Death Seekerism. And they say, um, a mission creator integrated into the already existing content creator, kind of like what you guys said with the heist creator thing, but with custom missions a community can create and publish. Yeah, so we pretty much covered this last week. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be like an an addition to the content creator that we've already got. We wanted it to be heist so you could string a load of different missions together. This is sort of the beginnings of that. So you give people a mission creator and say, hey, look, now you can create your own missions. Yes, obviously you're not going to be able to reward people with money or mm-hmm. XP because it's really highly exploitable, but maybe you can use it as like a training thing or just something to go and have fun with. Yeah. So, good idea. Zapman900 is next, nice. who says, lower the prices. Why the hell, I've changed his wording, That's good. does it cost $3,000 for a t-shirt? Good point to a, to an extent that a lot of the clothing items are very highly priced, like compared to real life prices, I guess. Well, yeah, like real but, life actual prices. Yeah, like $20. exactly. dollars. Yeah, yeah. But um, whereas things like cars, say, are maybe a bit more in tune with real life prices, like half a million dollars for a sports car, mm. a high end sports car, or something like that. I mean, I guess the issue is if they actually, if all the clothes were like. Twenty dollars or fifty dollars or something. You you would be able to buy everything in the shops in quite a short period of time. Yeah, and there'd be no sort of room for expansion of actually like there'd be no reason to like pick and choose what your character wears. Yeah, I guess none of it would feel exclusive. No in a way. Like you just be like, I've got just all the everyone's stuff. Everyone's got everything. Yeah, so. which you know, there's got upsides and bad sides. Like, oh, I've got everything. I've got a range of stuff. I can look however I want. Mm. But at the same time, everyone can do that. Exactly, and, yeah. You know, you want to be wandering around with the four thousand dollar suit on <laughs> as opposed to someone who's got like a twenty thousand dollar suit and yeah. you're like, Oh, I really want your suit. It's cool. And you're like, well go and do some more jobs then. Exactly. So yeah, you know, I, I can see your points, that man. But Yeah. I mean, they are quite expensive. But yeah, but then at the same time, there are still twenty dollar t shirts or yeah, get down cheap. a thrift shop. Yeah, exactly. Be all right. <laughs> yeah. Right. The next one is from Willsies, who says, um, "Add the ability to travel to a farm in Blaine County and milk the cows, and then sell the milk for dollars." Brilliant. Farming DLC is yeah. coming back. Farming DLC. So this is taking your idea and running with it. Yeah. I suppose we can also tie that into uh, Sinky, uh, who has commented saying, uh, yeah, or harvest the grapes of the vi- vineyards for money. Um, farming DLC would be nice. Yeah. This, this seems to be the standout <laughs> so It's a thing. recurring theme yeah. that's come up. I mean, I guess the north of the map, there are quite, you know, there are some farms up there and you can't yeah. do anything with them. It's a thing that could happen. I yeah. guess it would be like a a pastime or something you could do within the game. And expanding on that idea, what if you get said uh, vineyard, Yeah. then you make your own wine, then you can then sell that wine from a shop that you uh, that you bought in the city. Right. You can sell the wine to other players who can then have it in their apartment. And because oh. it's nicer wine or rubbish wine, it has an effect on how drunk or how happy you get or right. something. Okay. So you yeah. become just like, you just have a job. <laughs> this is back to the jobs thing. Jobs, then you have a job yeah. as a wine seller. Yeah. And your job is you to go a... and do the wine, yeah. make the wine, sell the wine, and then you get money. Yeah, yeah. you can have a grape stomping mini game. Imagine that. Yes, exactly. <laughs> just standing there yeah. for hours, pressing. Left, right, like left, a, right, a rhythm left, action right. game. Yeah. That's yeah. what you want. Exactly, yeah. Good idea. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Taikwa. I think it's going to be Taikwa. Maybe. Taika yeah. Robinson yeah. says, more fighting moves. That's it. Okay. Done. Quick and to the point. <laughs> In. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess there's only really punch and kick when punch on the floor. And, yeah, pretty much. You've got, you've got punch and kick. You've got the little kind of, you do the dodge and attack straight afterwards. You can do like a little counter one-two punch thing. But so, yeah. yeah there's, not a, there's not a huge range of fighting stuff, but then it's quite a, it's quite a nice simplified system that complements GTA's control scheme anyway. Yeah. If you had lots of different punches and kicks and crazy moves and so on, don't forget you've got all the, all the different melee weapons as well yeah, in yeah. there. Um, that might overcomplicate things a bit, whether it's maybe something like more fight animations, potentially, but then there is a lot of that already and a lot of, sort of context-sensitive stuff as well. So, um, so yeah, there's plenty of... I, I would say there's plenty of fighting stuff already in there. All right, I well, think if you tried if you tried to 
If you try to expand it much more, things might get a little bit complicated, is what I'm saying. Fine. Okay, then. Hmm. Well, let's move on, then. Frankie Mihalovic says, Get rid of racing for demolition derbies, as they end up that way anyhow, because there's no reason other than a good sportsmanship not to ram and pit manoeuvre opponents. So he basically just wants demolition derbies instead of races. I think yes. is what he's saying. Yes, so that, that, that makes sense. Uh, th- I mean, that could be a, an option, yeah. of, like a demolition derby in one of the arenas. would be quite nice. I think the reason that they introduced like the ghost cars in races is specifically for that reason. Definitely, yeah. You've got the, you've got the option to turn contact off yeah. now for those things. Because just, people did used to yeah. ram each other. Exactly, yeah. And, and as, as Frankie says, there's, there's no real incentive when you're doing a race not to mm. ram people. So, so yeah, that's a way of doing it. I mean, so if you're annoyed, Frankie, turn on the uh, off the collision stuff in yeah, the races. If you don't want contact, yeah. But then, but then, if you do want actual demolition derby races, that's quite an interesting idea. Mm. I mean, and they did in the current gen updated version add in the sort of dem- stock car type racing. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Um, but then again, that is still a point to point race. Um, and it, obviously that does have contact, but it's not it's not specifically maybe a Destruction Derby race, as you might understand if you played the Destruction Derby games yeah. back in the PlayStation 1 days. Um, I guess there's, there's quite detailed damage modelling in the game, as we've seen. Mm-hmm. So maybe there, there must be kind of stuff behind the scenes that's actually sort of recording how much damage a car has got and what condition it's in. So potentially, if you actually wanted an all-out destroy the other cars type race yeah that's something that that has got potential to to happen good idea good idea frankie yeah we'll go for that uh rascal five one two four nine seven nine yes which is a lot of numbers there (laughs) for reasons that only rascal can understand why he's got so many numbers all those 512,478 rascals Mm. beforehand yeah yeah it's taken all the other names uh he says or they say that they need to add more reasons to visit the north of the map. I know the city like the back of my hand. There's no reason to visit the north country area except in a mission. It, it, to, be, to be fair, they do raise a, a bit of a valid point there that obviously a lot of the online experience is centred within the city. Um, all the Pretty much all the shops and things are there. Uh, a lot of the missions begin in those populated areas. I guess logically because that's where there's stuff going on. Yeah. But... They are right that there isn't much reason to to go to the north end of the map, and I say personally, I I find, apart from maybe going up to the Trevor's airstrip mm. to grab a, a a vehicle or something, there's not really a lot of reason to head up there. You know what would make you head up there if there was farms up farming there? Farming DLC. Put some cows and some yeah. vineyards up there. Yeah, people are going back and but, forth all the time. Exactly, but even I guess even just some more Rockstar created or Rockstar verified missions based around that yeah i guess maybe that's something the community can could could, t- could be taken on board generating some more missions it's hard isn't it because you want to have it all exciting and in the city and if you take it out less people are going to play it and then exactly yeah. like, oh, i don't want to go all the way up there to go yeah do that thing so yeah it's difficult but if you make it good they will come that's true as i think they said in that film once <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right, Jim Pickens says uh, an Apache attack helicopter with a gun that fires lasers and knives. Wow. And knives and lasers, laser knives. Wow. Okay, well, uh, Jim Pickens seems to have lost his mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's ignore the, the laser knives. And uh, Can you ignore them? <laughs> well, I'm either coming at your <laughs> no. face. No, that's difficult. No. Um, but... Apache attack, attack helicopter. helicopter. Yeah, I mean, this is this something that I think was in uh, San Andreas. I think there was a, a helicopter, a pretty hefty one that you could get. Certainly uh, in um, GTA 4, there was an Apache style helicopter that you could uh, unlock and, and fly around in and cause all sorts of havoc with. So I'm sure it's something it's, Rockstar have looked at. Yeah. It's just a balancing thing again. Yeah, it? I mean I guess the issue is if you if you have something like that and le- unleashed in the online world, potentially it could be overpowered and you've just got somebody cruising around raining fire and missiles yeah. and laser knives down from the sky and <laughs> uh and ruining everyone else's online experience. But then you've got tanks online which are pretty hefty. Yeah, so maybe the laser knives 
destroys yeah, tanks. Maybe. Okay. Well, yeah, that's that's I say suggestion. Mm. Of course, with all of these things, let us know what you think about these suggestions in the comments. Uh, we're merely reading them out. We are not uh, endorsing. No, we're a conduit well, for ideas. <laughs> yeah, we, we're endorsing some of them. Yeah, well, them exactly. Uh, so yeah, get in touch on Twitter at GTA V O'Clock or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GTA V O'Clock. James Smith is up next, who says, I'd like to see a multiplayer mode similar to that in Assassin's Creed, where one team tries to blend in with the AI and environment while the other team is told roughly where they are and have to eliminate them. That is an interesting idea. That is a good I like, idea. I like the sound of that. I did enjoy the Assassin's Creed online modes that had that sort of thing in it where you, you basically had to walk around and mimic the actions of the other NPCs mm. and try and remain hidden as, as long as possible. And um, if you're in a crew, I guess you could you know, do bigger actions together. Like you could have three or four people crossing the street at the same time so it didn't look like just one person. Yeah, and you could or make kind it of all... stood chatting away like you see NPCs on the street corners chatting away and stuff. So. Yeah, that's the really good idea. I like yeah. that. Some kind of like manhunt mission like a bit like when we used to do a bounty hunter in the old gta <laughs> yeah, live stream exactly you'd have or, one guy and then the rest of the people had to go and yeah i guess or an, yeah or what was the other one wesley snipes wesley snipes <laughs> yeah that was good so yeah i mean i guess it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to maybe extend that in the single player campaign you've got lester's assassination missions where you're sent to pick out a certain target mm. in an area um, it wouldn't be too much of a stretch to maybe bring assassinations to online and if, if you had that as a game mode where you'd get a, an image on screen of that of your target sort yeah. of online character, Avatar, and then you had to hunt them down in that area and they had a certain amount of time to avoid you. Yeah, it's, I guess it's like an extension of what they do with the bounties at the moment when you put a bounty on someone. Yeah. But instead of like, putting a giant red dot on the radar <laughs> yeah maybe it just, just sends be, everyone a picture of their face yeah and like a like a circular blip of an area yeah and that person can't like, leave that area yeah and it's or like, all that yeah so yeah because you don't want them just running off to no. their apartment like everyone does at the moment exactly good idea good uh so next up pinpoint 45 says earbuds for radio on foot yep agree yeah uh, yeah, some kind of MP3 player or something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just so you can sort of press a button and bring up the same radio wheel that you would have in a vehicle and listen to your tunes when you're walking around. Yeah. Um, I think the only reason that isn't in there is because of the dynamic score that GTA 5 has. Uh, so when you're walking yeah. around, different things, you know, music kicks in at different times. Whether there is a way to blend that together or you just turn it on and off, like everyone's played enough of the game now to have experienced the dynamic score and then maybe you can choose whether you want to have it on or off. Well, you can. It's a Walkman. Yeah. Earbuds in, earbuds off. Exactly. You can, you can decide. Exactly. But yeah, good idea. Uh, old Zapman 900 is back. They should add rent, which is something that we covered last week. Uh, the price is determined by how long you are in your apartment so people with bounties can't just stay there. Now that bit of it I like. Yeah. Uh, having... I, well, you have to pay like a cleaner. I was about to say there's like a service charge, isn't yeah. there, that pops up. Uh, I think it might only be like once a week, in-game week or mm. something. You have to pay your mechanic and your ser service charge for your apartment to keep it going. But having something so you pay more money because you've spent more time in there is, is like a, a reasonably good idea. I guess the problem is that would then discourage people from yeah, being in Yeah, it kind apartment. of... I, like, I totally see the point of maybe maybe it'd be like a charge if you had a bounty on your head or something so you're actually actively hiding yeah that that then clocks up a charge because you say otherwise if it was just at any point you're in your apartment it'd kind of feel like a a punishment for using your own property yeah, exactly yeah you can't be so, in your own house no exactly so i certainly wouldn't be hanging around in mine if i was paying for yeah. it all the time but, so uh, uh, yeah can see can see the point of yeah. that but uh could be difficult Right, and the final uh, comment we have is from Kepler, who says, um, the ability to spray your gang's logo on walls, walls, as in the gang turf thing. Yeah, that's a good idea. It is good. So, yeah, be a way of marking your, your territory or your area, or at least kind of spreading your crew hmm. uh, identity around the city. So even potentially if it's not tied into any specific gang wars or gang turf mm. thing just being able to like graffiti your 
tag on the wall and, and put your crew's name out there is quite an interesting idea. Maybe if you got spotted by security or the police while you were doing it, you'd get a wanted level and get chased after as well. Yeah, because you, you, you can put <laughs> it is naughty, that's true. You can put your logo on cars and on T-shirts and things. Yeah. So this is just an extension of that. Exactly, yeah. Tagging up about... I guess the thing is you'd have to be... Like, the servers would change. So if we're thinking about it on a bigger scale, it's more difficult to do that and make you come back to the same area where you've got your tags because you're always going to log into different servers. But but let's bypass the technicalities yeah, like exactly, we did last yeah. week. And I think finally he says, uh, which is my favourite one, okay. maybe my favourite suggestion of all of the suggestions. Go for it. The ability to sell cars like in an online community market selling type thing so you can buy other play other people's cars and have their like advanced customized options and car parts ah, in it so okay. basically it's like a used car dealership yeah where you can make your own car you can do sort of a pimp, pimp my ride makeover on yeah. a, a thing and then once you've got it all looking nice put it up for a sort of auction people or people can then go and bid on your car and, and buy it because because yeah. I'm pretty rubbish at, at you know styling out a car. Yeah, I can give it all the cool brakes and speed and boosts and things. But when it comes to like coloring it in, <laughs> coloring it in <laughs> like a child, <laughs> uh, it comes to actually. Yeah, it, no, I remember your car. It was it was it was a bit. <laughs> when it uh, comes to giving yeah. it them paint jobs and things, yeah, I just like oh, I don't know. So well, if someone we like, never lost your car. Let's put it that way. It was <laughs> it was quite. It was yeah, it's good. It's a good one. Yeah. Big pink one. But yeah, no, that'd be nice. Maybe there was some sort of like, was like virtual test drive thing that you could Ooh, you could yeah. get in the car and drive it around an area and see how it handles and what sort of speed it does as well. That would be obviously useful if you were planning on buying it. Mm. So yeah, so I yeah. think that's a good idea. Having pre-made custom cars by people in the community, which then you can then go and buy for us. maybe. Well, I guess some of them are going to cost more than the base level because they would have had yeah exactly suit yeah. up and stuff. But yeah. maybe you can set your own price. Um, yeah, I guess. Kind of yeah, because it's yeah. Again, I suppose Rockstar would be wary in any sort of situation in the game where you were setting your own price for something that there's there's always a potential for either like pricing it really high and somebody coming in and giving you lots of money yeah, that you shouldn't yeah. have, or pricing it too low and people getting stuff they shouldn't have. So it's always a bit of a tricky balancing mm. act for but, that. But, but I like the idea. But the idea in principles, yeah. I like the sound. concept. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's it for your community suggestions of how to improve GTA Online. If you've got any more, put them in the comments below or get in touch on Twitter at GTA B O'Clock or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash GTA B O'Clock. Uh, thanks for listening. Next week, it is Gamescom. Uh, so I'm going to be off in Germany. Uh, you're going to still be here. Oh, but it's probably going to be quite difficult yeah. to make a show. So... Yeah, we're probably going to have a week off, but if you tune into our new home on Games Radar, we're going to have loads of reactions and big game previews and news and hands on reports from the show floor with me and a lot of the other Games Radar people. So hit the link in the description if you want all of that. If not, we'll be back here on this channel uh, in two weeks' time. Yep. So we will see you there at 5 pm. <laughs> <laughs>